Hello, uh, today I was going to uh, upload a fully edited, proper uh, review of the last episode of Doctor Who, uh, but there's been technical problems, it's become far too late to just upload it because it's almost halfway through the week and it's almost the next episode. Now, uh, last episode was the God Complex with uh, the, the big Minotaur thing, uh, the Doctor and all uh, the people stuck in a hotel, well, weird hotel thing. Uh, David Williams as the strange mole-eyed man, and um, some pretty, uh, pretty interesting moments. Um, I gave that episode uh, four out, out of five because the whole episode was nice, but it was just kind of you know, uh, well, what I've been reading about in uh, Blake Snyder's Save the Cat, uh, the the sort of super genres, as it were. Uh, that this would fall into a mon monster in the house, just the idea of Jaws or Alien or uh, something like that, you know, where it's just simply everyone stuck in one place trying to escape a big scary monster. Um, uh, so, you know, that was effective enough, but, you know, it wasn't really that profound or interesting or great. Uh, though the character inter interactions were pretty good. The character they even played, the, the cowardly mole like man, that was, that was quite good. It was quite almost sinister. I just saw on on YouTube that if you watch really carefully, he um at one point in the episode he actually eats the goldfish that was lying around, uh which which apparently further symbolises that uh the Doctor wasn't able to save everyone, and that was what this episode was really about, you know that, that this, this is the theme of this episode that you know you you take away the big minotaur thing and the, the trap and the, the maze and blah, blah 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 blah, you look at it for what it really means, and it's really about the fact that you know what the Doctor can't save everybody every time. The Ninth Doctor, at the end of the Are You My Mummy episodes, uh, Doctor Dances and that other one, uh, it's, you know, he just said, you know, it just this one throws everybody loves, and it was like, yay! And that's the kind of moment you want in Doctor Who, but, of course, at the other end of the scale, you also want these episodes where, you know, they, you know where you're basically going, you know what, but he can't save everyone every single time, and he didn't. And it was quite horrible, actually, watching, you know, him making his usual kind of overconfident, you know, I'll save everybody, everything's going to be fine, I will do everything, I will sort it all, this is going to be great, don't you worry, I'm here, I'm the doctor, I can save you. Uh, and then, of course, they started dying one by one. Just, you know, <laughs> dead. And then you, you get to, there will be spoilers, by the way. Like, that just happened, so that's a bit late, sorry. Um, but anyway, you knew me. Um, you know, and as they die, it, it, you see the Doctor getting more and more angry. Um, and then when, when when almost all of them are dead, and I think the only one that was left alive by this point was uh, David Williams' Mole Man. At this point, you know, the Doctor's just enraged. He's he's just overcome with this anger that he was incapable of saving these people. And you just see everyone kind of sitting around, uh, really uncomfortable. As you see in the background, you know, the Doctor smashing furniture and, and kicking things about and shouting and screaming and it's 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 quite effective it's seen you know him being sort of torn apart um coming away at the seams because you know it's getting closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to his supposed death and he's getting more and more kind of you know uh, fixated on 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 you know what he can't do what 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 is still what can still be done what's left what time is left what what's around what what can we do still what's happening and then of course after all that, which was fairly fun, you know, vaguely interesting, cool episode, which, you know, was more of a kind of three out of five kind of general everyday, <laughs> oh, it was quite fun episode, we got to the last seven minutes, and I feel like I'm saying this a lot in Doctor Who, it always ends up in the last seven minutes, they end up making me go, ooh, uh, and it was certainly the case this week. Um, so, the Doctor, he... He, he drops off, he, you know, he solves the problem, he, he gets rid of the Minotaur, they get in the maze, blah, 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 none of that really matters, that's all just, you know, exposition and things falling into place. What really mattered is this, he dropped off Amy and Rory in the street, and, you know, Rory realises this is the car that he'd always dreamed of, and that this was their house, and then the Doctor just tells him, you know, right, that's it, I'm leaving you, you've got to go, and Amy's like, you know, why, 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 no, you can't, you know, I, you, you know I need this, uh, because the... But her faith in the Doctor had been tested in this episode, because that was another uh, theme of the episode, was faith. And uh, her her faith was not, you know, religion, uh, like uh, Islam was the, was the faith of one of the people. Uh, 
uh, that was caught in the maze. Her faith was in the Doctor. Um, we had some really effective scenes with the wee tiny uh, Amelia Pond. It was really quite good to see her again, Caitlin Blackwood. Um, but yeah, so that was the moment where he just goes, you know what, your faith in me is going to end up killing you. Uh, so he just says, bye bye, this is it, bye bye, gets in the TARDIS, leaves, and then, you know, uh, Amy ends up turning into the new lady and saying, you know what, this is, this is him saving us. And it was like, ah! Uh, I mean, okay, admittedly, a bit of me is just kind of going, yay, Amy's gone! But, you know, but then again, Rory's gone, which is not good. Um, but then again, Amy was just getting going. She was just beginning to get to... Well, obviously, you know, it doesn't mean she's gone. I'm sorry to disappoint those who don't like Amy, but um, she is going to be... Con she has contracts to be in the next series. So, yeah. Uh, it was... You, you can really see the Doctor begin to get... He's... He's falling apart more and more as he gets closer and closer to, to the end. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing next week where the sequel to The Lodger, where he returns to Craig, uh, played by James Corden, and we see the return of the Cybermen, a.k.a. the Stompy Robots. <laughs> Which I'm hoping for, because, you know, the whole point of the Cybermen is uh, originally they were kind of sneaky, sneaky. Um, and insidious and not very nice, and it was kind of like it was. If if the Cybermen were around, you were really you know you, you were you were scared because uh, back in the day you know they always had plans. There was one episode where it, it, they weren't revealed until the end of what the third or fourth episode into the story, and it was them all along and stuff like that. It's great, um, you know. Whereas you know when they came back uh, in time for David Tennant series two uh, or series twenty nine or twenty eight or whatever it was. Back in two thousand and six, um, basically we're just stomping about going delete, delete. I mean, that's just you know that's not it. That's just big you know angry stompy robots that are just punching down walls. That's not sneaking about. Um, so I'll be interested to see if they manage to rescue the Cybermen and resurrect them. Uh, you know, especially since the last time we saw them was in the the next Doctor. So I quite scored the Pandora's box. It's the next Doctor. Anyway, this has gone on for too long. Seven minutes and 32 seconds is far too long. Um, so anyway, have a good week. Um, and I look forward to seeing the next one. And I will see everyone soon. I'll be back, ho hopefully with a proper edited blog. And none of these kind of in the morning crazy, just, you know, quick, quick webcam recordings that end up being about eight minutes long. Right, okay. I need to leave it there. So I'll see you later. Have a good week. <laughs>